The Lucia Mar District has made its decision when it comes to kids being in the classroom this fall. KSBY's Rob Schiff is live in Rio Grande to tell us what led Lucia Mar to making this call. Rob. Karina, students have dealt with virtual learning since this pandemic hit back in March. And by now, we all hoped we'd be in a better spot. But when it comes to this district, students will start the year learning from home. I think that what ultimately led to this decision is our concern for the safety and of our staff and our students. Lucy Amar Unified School District, the biggest in Slow County, has decided to go virtual, saying that the Board of Education will require distance learning to start the school year. The release also saying that over 1,500 comments submitted to the board and the district administrative team went into making this decision. It's one that Assistant Superintendent of Curriculum Hillary Dixon says has a lot to do with the county's recent surge in COVID cases. The indications that we will have more here locally in our county, it didn't seem to be right that we would bring kids back in person in schools when you cannot eat in person in a restaurant. The district's decision has been met with mixed reviews, almost 600 comments being made on our Facebook page, some acknowledging and praising the district for putting safety first when it comes to students and teachers, others though expressing concern concerns such as Wi-Fi capabilities, computer access, as well as meal programs, all things Dixon says her and her staff are preparing for. We recognize that this is going to be a struggle for some of our families, so working with our school communities, we are working on identifying additional interventions and support. Kurt Lingren coaches, teaches, and has three kids in the Lucia Mar District. He says that making a decision based on safety was a good thing. They made a decision with the safety of both the students and the staff in mind. And that's something that really hits um, home because uh, my father passed away from uh, COVID. When it comes to distance learning, there will be a lot of questions and concerns from parents, but Dixon says her team is ready to help. It is not going to be easy and we recognize that. Um, and so we're gonna do everything we can to support our families to get through this. Now, Dixon tells me plan B, which would have some kids going in the morning, some kids going in the afternoon, is still an option moving forward. But for now, distance learning is the plan for the foreseeable future. Live in Arroyo Grande, Rob Schiff, KSBY News. All right, Rob, thank you. And the district's decision will impact more than 10,000 students in San Luis Obispo County.